Michael Bibby, of course. What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSJTV. I hope you are all doing well. It is a beautiful, my phone's going off, it is a beautiful day. Here, in Birmingham City Centre, we have arrived at the Mecca, AKA Ultimate Fitness Birmingham. There's the rooftop. We're gonna be heading up there a little bit today. This bit here, right along there. All the way across. It is going to be a good one. It is going to be a sweaty one. Oh my lord. It is warm today. My watch is currently saying 24 degrees. Sick. I don't want to moan, but that, that, that that's well up. Might, might be too up, you know. Drop the video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into it, people. Let's do this. know in depth in a video I haven't written it properly I'm kind of doing it over the next couple of weeks or so I'm just changing a few things for ultimate fitness and for myself for what I have been getting used to for what I've been progressing on week in week out and what I am enjoying the most because that is the most key thing if you are not enjoying it you're not gonna stick to it if you don't stick to it you're not gonna get any results whether they are good or bad results you're not gonna get any if you don't stick to it no gym no gains simple as that so today we are sticking to machines uh, just machines still and I'm baking. I've actually got a vest with me that I might have to change into. I don't want to be like, I, I don't want, I, like, I'm very aware that I'm not the biggest guy in the gym. I'm very aware of that. And I don't want to be the guy that's just wandering around in a vest thinking he's big and stuff. Um, but it is 26 degrees right now. And I might have to just, if I was in the home gym, I would be wearing a vest or no t-shirt whatsoever. But just because I'm here, I, I'm wearing a t-shirt and I'm sweating. So I might have to change things up a little bit with the plan and the outfit. But hey, we'll see how we go. Guys, it's happening. 
Don't worry about uh, how fast you go, just worry about how high you get in your knees, yeah? Up, up like this, boom, boom, boom. 15 seconds we'll do that for. Wound up, oh my days, it's even friggin' hotter. Wound up on the rooftop filming. Uh, hopefully the first of many bits that I'm gonna be doing um, on behalf of the Mecca, Ultimate Fitness, Birmingham. Rooftop shoot in the sun, job done. Time to go home and get some grub and talk about this training plan. So, stay tuned for all the Ultimate Fitness stuff coming in the very near future. Um, we'll be churning it out on a very consistent basis. You know how we do things here, okay? Exciting times, people. Let's go home, because it's about 3 p.m. and I've not friggin' eaten. It's later than that, actually. Anyway, on with the day. Ladies and gentlemen, children of the internet. Hi, how we doing? I've got some of my protein boxes here. I know what is inside, but I'm gonna pretend I don't for the camera, okay? So, I actually, I think this is the one I'm thinking of anyway. Um, I actually launched a competition on my Instagram stories uh, the other day. I'm gonna do like a proper IGTV post to, ah, oh, brilliant. These right here are command drinks, okay? Um, the Nootropic Gaming Range, this is a gaming product technically um, from my protein, right? This is the sour apple flavor, brand new command flavor. Uh, and this is the, what's this one called? Uh, this is the, uh, what's the name of it? Um, oh, citrus, citrus flavor. So I'm pretty more excited to try the citrus one because when it comes to energy drinks kind of realm, I, I do love a citrusy flavor, you know? So we shall see how these taste, but long story short, the competition is to flip, to open a monster, open a command can in whatever creative, innovative way that you can possibly think of. The most creative, silly, funny uh, way wins. You can get however creative with it you like, you know? Uh, and the one that wins, the one that comes up with the most creative one, will win some command. It will arrive straight up to your door. But of course, you gotta get the commands using code LSJ at checkout to enter. That's the only catch, okay? Have fun with it, get involved, and uh, I'll let you guys know how these taste over the next few days, because I'll be, well, over the next few videos and stuff, I'll have one in, in the next kind of couple, um, and we'll just see how we go. But uh, one thing that I know that we've got in here is uh, my protein actually released a new backpack. Oh, I need some scissors. Numero uno, I think this is actually just some ice packs. Um, I said just some ice packs. You know that knee injury I had, guys? Yeah, unfortunately, the same kind of pain. Uh, oh, okay. All right. This one's just a bottle. Okay, that was meant to come with those. Anyway, fortunately, the pain uh, came back just kind of out of nowhere. Uh, it's okay now. I've been taking anti-inflammatories for like two days. Uh, I haven't trained legs. I'm not going to train legs this week. I'm actually off away to Manchester uh, as of tomorrow. Um, so I haven't actually got chance because I'm training pool today, but anyway, I'm hopefully training in a gym when I'm in Manchester. So, plenty of good gyms, especially one in particular that I will hopefully be able to get to while I'm in Manchester. I might not, it might not work out, but hopefully it will come good. But anyway, this, fe this feeling, this pain um, in my leg kind of came back. Uh, so I've just been taking it easy. I've not done anything that would put any kind of stress on it. Uh, taking anti-inflammatories, icing it, and all this, this kind of stuff. But actually, since moving to the flat, I actually only have one ice pack, um, and that's not enough, you know? If I have one and I fall asleep with it on my leg or something, like, or I don't put it back in the freezer, you know, I've got nothing for later on when I need it again, you know? I'm icing it a couple of times a day minimum, um, and you want it to last, you want it to be cold enough to, to last, so. Anyway, that's that. We've got a couple of pairs of socks. Another one of the uh, birthday tank tops, which is the limited edition Impact Week stuff. And this is what I'm most excited about, guys, because if it's any good, I'll take it with me to Manchester, where I'm going, like, tomorrow. 
So, here we have my protein's latest backpack. It is called, it has a fancy name, what's it called? The MP Adapt Backpack. You've got this drawstring bit on the front, and the thing I like about it is that it's pretty big. Like, I take a lot of stuff with me to the gym on a daily basis. Sometimes I even take my laptop as I have all my camera gear, uh, my batteries, memory cards. I take a lot of stuff with me wherever I go. I, I, I very rarely pack light, so having a big backpack like this, um, or what this seemed like it was anyway. And yeah, okay, this is a nice big backpack. I'm gonna be able to fit. This can pretty much be my gym bag for, for the foreseeable. Or we'll see, I don't know, because I quite like having the duffel bag, but I ruined that. But here it is. We've got the little drawstring bit at the front. We've got plenty of zip pockets so that I can put my wallet in there. Oh my God, that's massive, what the hell? Nice. Okay, so there's this like Velcro bit for the effect here and stuff. MP, you can put that wherever you want. Little small pocket at the top for your wallet and a big one in there. I can slide my laptop in here. I can slide my pulse roll in here when I go to the gym. Like a lot of the time I've been taking my, my massage gun to the gym just in case anything kind of flares up. You gotta understand like I was used to kind of being at home and having the, the home gym, um, having everything at home ready to hand if I needed it. Um, whereas now I'm, I'm at Ultimate Fitness, which is awesome, but I don't have all of those home comforts, if you like, that I can just or go and roll my back for a bit or like go and, you know, pulse roll, take five minutes break and go on the spin bike sort of thing. You know, it's not as easy to do that um, at Ultimate Fitness, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it forces me to think about the recovery more um, kind of outside of the gym, but it's just not what I'm used to yet. So, big backpack. Jobs are good. Really happy with that. Feeling a little bit. Um, okay, not a little bit. Uh, look at my freaking shoulders. A lot of bit um, burnt from earlier. It was about 26 degrees here in the UK today um, in central Birmingham. We had some beautiful rooftop sun. Um, I was up there for a good hour. Uh, I didn't put any sun cream on, would not recommend. Um, I, it doesn't hurt or anything, but it is definitely going to leave an awful, absolutely horrific tan line. But hey, we can manage. <laughs> we can cope with that. Um, the training plan. Let's talk about the training plan. I've kind of explained what I was going to do in previous videos, but I wanted to dedicate a, um, a video title to it um, to kind of draw a little bit of attention to the fact that it is going to be something that I am doing. Um, and I will update you guys kind of as I am writing it. But essentially what I'm doing is rotating in an arm day and rotating out a leg day. Now I know how that sounds, right? I have actually switched up my leg day training routine, right? The, the volume, everything like that is so intense. Now I train legs essentially like Sai has kind of taught me to train legs, right? I used to have two slightly more moderate leg days. Now I have one intense AF leg day with multiple compounds. It takes me like two and a half, three hours to do. I essentially do two leg days in one, right? And then that takes a week to recover from. You can't do that kind of leg day twice a week. And essentially Sai's kind of mentality towards it is if you can do it twice a week, then you're not training that one time hard enough, right? So the way that I am currently training my legs at this point in time, obviously I'm not doing it this week because of the whole knee thing. But anyway, the logic is if you can do it twice, you can't you haven't done the first time hard enough, right? So, alongside that, I'm looking to bring up the arms, bring up the guns. We would all love an extra inch, lads, let's be real. So, I'm actually rotating out a leg day because it was a upper, lower push, or push, pull legs, upper, lower, upper, lower, push, pull legs, however you wanna put it. Obviously, within that is, is a lower, which is one leg day, and a legs, which is another leg day. Um, rotating one of the leg days out and putting in an arm day. Yes, you heard me. We are skipping legs. Oh my God, that's a, probably a better video title than anything I would have ever come up with is I'm skipping leg day, but that's not what it's gonna be. It's gonna be something along the lines of, of, of changing the plan. That in a nutshell is what we are gonna be doing, but I wanted to know from you guys, do you want an updated plan coming out? Do you want to know the exact UFB Ultimate Fitness Birmingham plan that I am gonna be following? Do you want that on the site? Let me know, because if you do, I will draw it up properly, I'll make it look all pretty and all that kind of stuff, um, and we'll see how we get on. I think that would be quite cool, because you are, you guys can again follow along with the exact plan that I will be doing, right? But the summer shredding plan was what I was doing, now things have changed a little bit. I've moved, you know, it's, it, things change. Goals change, structure changes, the work changes, you know, um, everything changes. Um, and it is important that we are able to adapt and that is what I'm kind of in the process of doing right now. So let me know.
Is that something you'd be interested in? Is it not? Either way, let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, do me a massive favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Please drop a comment for the algorithm. We need them, we need the likes, we need the comments and all that kind of stuff, as vain as it sounds. It helps so much. Thank you all so much for your support. Together we will grow and we'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>